Sazino diabetes is associated with a two to four fold increase in the risk of coronary heart disease, a three to seven fold increase in the risk of mortality from coronary heart disease. And one of the strongest predictor of this cardiovascular event is plasma cholesterol. If you see this slide, the causes of death in people with diabetes, you can see that uh, majority of the cases, more than 40 percent is because of ischemic heart disease. Uh, other heart disease contribute around 15 percent. Diabetes per se contributes around 13 percent. And then you have the other diseases like malignant neoplasms, cerebrovascular disease, pneumonia, they contribute to the rest. So the most important factor for death in people with diabetes is ischemic heart disease. And this is a famous study by Stephen Hafner which was published in New England Journal of Medicine that diabetes is a risk equivalent of coronary artery disease. What does it mean? Suppose you have a non-diabetic with an MI, he has a mortality of around 18.8 percent versus a diabetic without an MI who has a mortality of 20 percent. So a diabetic without MI is actually having a worse mortality than a non-diabetic with a MI. So it's a risk equivalent of coronary artery disease. Evolution of atherosclerosis, it is said that atherosclerosis sets up in the fetus itself, in the womb itself. So you have initially the formation of the foam cell, fatty streak and the intermediate lesion which actually starts from the first decade. Up to the third decade you have the intermediate lesion and atheroma and then from the fourth decade onwards you have the fibrous plaque and then you have the complicated plaque which can rupture finally leading to acute coronary syndrome. So the growth mainly occurs by lipid accumulation to begin with and then by smooth muscle and collagen proliferation and finally leading to thrombosis and hematoma.